Hi, I'm Betty, and today I wanted to pop on today to talk to you about something that I keep seeing posted in all the local forums. Um, it just seems like every week there's somebody in there asking for the best boudoir photographer. So I thought with that in mind that I would go ahead and make a video um, and give you guys some tips on how to choose the right boudoir photographer. Um, I think boudoir has just exploded um, in recent years. It's just become really popular. Um, I mean, it's been around for a long time, um, but it just in the last decade and with each year, succe succeeding year, it just, it gets even more popular. So um, with that, there's a lot of different photographers now um, that do boudoir photography or that offer it as part of their services. So people are just, I think they're overwhelmed with information and they don't really know who to choose from because there's just so many photographers in the market. So um, I think point number one uh, or the most obvious would be style. So when you go to a photographer's website, you know, take a look at their portfolio. You know, is it like dark with a lot of shadows? Do they do a lot of black and whites? Um, or is it light, bright, airy, colorful? Um, as you look at a photographer's portfolio, you will start to see um, a pattern in what you like. So you'll start to, you know, kind of narrow it down just based upon style um, of the photographer. I think the next thing that would be really important and should also be quite obvious is experience. So a lot of photographers don't necessarily specialize in it. Uh, they do weddings, they do portraits, family, you know, and then they happen to offer boudoir photography as an additional service. Um, for me, um, I've been doing it since 2009. I've specialized in it. Um, I started off doing retro pinup and gradually moved over to just like more modern boudoir in about 2015. Um, so I have tons of experience photographing every shape and size there is. Um, I think when a photographer doesn't do it or like all the time and they don't it's just part of their services and they don't necessarily specialize in it um, they're never going to have the same eye for it um, that somebody does it that does it like all of the time that you know that specializes in it so that is something to keep in mind um, you know and I think another you want to also make sure that the photographer is offering products that you like um, so my two cents on this is that there's a lot of prep, a lot of planning um, that goes into a boudoir session. And for a lot of women, it is a once in a lifetime experience. Sometimes it can be, you know, several times. Sometimes it can be every year. Uh, but for a lot of women, it is kind of a one-time thing. So I think, I truly believe that you should be doing something with your photos. They should not be living on your hard drive. Um, you don't appreciate them as much when they're on your hard drive. They also, you know, they're subject to corruption, being lost. Um, so you do want to make sure that you're doing something with them. With that said, um, I do offer a variety of albums. They're heirloom quality um, and wall art. Um, and, you know, you want to make sure that the products are printed at a professional lab. You don't necessarily want the teenage boy at Walgreens printing out your intimate photos. So, you know, and there is a difference in quality um, as well between a consumer printed product or a consumer lab and a professional photo lab as well. Um, another thing that you would probably want to keep in mind um, is personality. Uh, this is a big one. I usually require phone consults with all of my potential clients because you do want to get a feel, you know, for the photographer, are they easy to talk to? Um, you've got to think about the fact that you're going to be getting naked in front of this person or at least half naked. Um, so you do want to feel comfortable talking to them. You want to make sure that if you have a specific vision in mind that this photographer is going to be able to capture that for you um, and just make you feel comfortable um, overall. So, and that's something that just can't be done through um, text or email. You really need to at least do it over the phone, if not face to face. Um, I think another topic or something else that's important to look at um, is customer service slash turnaround time. So when I get an inquiry, um, I think the rule of thumb is like 24 hours, but I almost always try and get back to a client much, much sooner or a potential client, um, but generally one business day or less. Um, you know, and if it's a booked client and they have a question, 
Um, I always try to answer as soon as possible. If I'm with a client, you know, I will get back to you and let you know when I am available to answer you. But you definitely want to make sure that this, you know, photographer that you booked um, is responsive to you and that you're not just like another meal ticket. Um, in other words, you probably don't necessarily want a volume photographer. You probably want something, you know, again, if if this photographer specializes that they're only, you know, specializes they're only taking a certain number of clients per month, um, and you want somebody that is, you know, fully invested in their art and creating beautiful artwork for you. So, and I think the last thing to kind of keep in mind, um, it's certainly not the least important, but it shouldn't be at the top of the list, is price. So, um, boudoir photography is a luxury service. It is something that requires a lot of time planning, um, and there is a lot more post-production involved with boudoir than, say, a wedding where you're bulk editing a lot of photos. Um, you know, so it, it is going to be an investment and cheaper doesn't always, you know, while it won't always indicate, you know, um, a crappy photographer, most of the time, um, you get what you pay for. So just in general, um, you know, like I said, it, it shouldn't be at the top of the list. I do offer myself, I offer a number of payment plans to try and make it more affordable because I do think that this is something that every woman needs. Um, and appreciates. We all want to feel good about ourselves. I think we all deserve to feel beautiful. Um, you know, so that's that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on anything, go ahead and shoot me, you know, comment on this video, send me a message, um, and I'll be happy to answer it for you. So thanks for watching.